Reporter Stephanie Shields is in central El Paso. She is live with those details. Well, Natasia, City Council approved $6.6 .6 million in funding for 700 body cameras. It's part of the American Rescue Plan Act that will cover a large portion of the police force that deals with the public on a day-to-day -day basis. Whether it's out on a call or patrolling the streets, hundreds of El Paso police officers will soon start recording their activity with body-worn cameras. This is an, an, an increases not only public safety transparency, but also efficiency efficiency in the department. Henry Rivera, former EPPD officer and current City Council District 7 representative says this was his goal since 2017, putting it in motion in 2018 when the force received 34 cameras. Because there's that third witness, that impartial silent witness is what I call the camera. They capture everything. They capture the truth. 34 cameras now upgraded to 700 with the approved funding from City Council, which will go to patrol and traffic officers. They should have started this a long time ago. You know, a lot of cities already have them in place. And I was very surprised that El Paso uh, was lagging in that area. Ricardo Guzman, a retired police officer, says it's important for the police department to evolve and modernize. I think it's a safety tool for the officers and the public. And uh, it also helps with uh, complaints, you know, any type of uh, issues that police officers might be involved in. The city also expects to be awarded a nearly half a million dollar grant later this month, and the city will match nearly $166,000 into the program. I think it will help both parties, like it'll help the people and it'll also help the police officers protect themselves so that you know, nobody can contradict what happened. It's just all very transparent. So Henry Rivera says the next phase of the program will focus on getting body cameras for code enforcement officers and detectives. Now the city expects EPPD to start using those 700 body cameras by next summer. Reporting live in Central El Paso, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News.